President Mohamed Buhari told the security agencies that they were not doing enough to end the security challenges in the country. So despite enormous logistics provided by this administration, is this an indictment on the service chiefs? Yes, not just uh, the service chiefs, but on uh, everyone who duty it is to protect us as a people. The service chiefs, the other subheads of our national security, they are all to blame for the mess that we have found ourselves in. In the past, the president could simply gloss over these things and even he praises on the service chiefs, on the inspector general of police. But I think even the president is tired of um, coming out to defend or appear to defend his appointees. His appointees have failed spectacularly uh, to provide security for our people and if the president is saying this to them then uh, he shows that in his heart of hearts he knows that not only have the people who had security in our country failed his own government has failed in the area of providing security for our people he can no longer be denied people can be called names because they chose to speak the truth, they chose to highlight the problems facing our nation. But simply abusing people or pretending that problems are not there will not solve the problem. What will solve the problem is the approach to defeating it. If, if we have a, a banditry in the Northwest, what will put its so that is the appropriateness of the strategies deployed. If we do not deploy the right strategies, of course, banditry will remain with us uh, a lot longer. The approach has to be better. The strategies deployed has to be better. And uh, the people whose duty it is to provide security for our country have to be up and doing. So the president uh, has openly criticized them, as openly said, look, I provided logistics, I provided what you need to succeed. But what we have falls short of uh, expectation. So the president was not used to saying this when we had the former service chiefs. He allowed them to stay in office longer than necessary for reasons uh, best known to the president, because there was nothing unusual that those set of service chiefs did. The president extended their, their stay and even went against the constitution to keep them in office. Some of them were above 60 years and the president needlessly kept them in office. So this whole lot began from the former set of service chiefs. But this is the first time that we are hearing from the president that you have not done enough in spite of all that we have provided you have not done enough and i'm sure that the president didn't want to say this publicly because he felt he could even further demoralize the armed forces so he said it to the hearing of the service chiefs the ig and the rest of them but when pressmen now spoke with the national security advisor he conveyed the disappointment of Mr. President in their work, in the work of the NSA himself. He conveyed the disappointment of Mr. President to journalists who posed questions to him. So uh, I think the approach of the president to an extent was right. He didn't want to openly condemn them, you know, because of the way that could be interpreted. But as we have always said, he has not challenged the people that he has given responsibilities enough. They are hard to be key performance index. If Nigeria was a business enterprise, of course, it would be run better than this.
but everyone is just acting like oh this does not belong to me let me just do my bit and, and get away no that cannot engender positive nation building we've got to address the problems once we can see that these problems are there we have to address them that is and the president talked about the attack on the train of course that remains one of the most embarrassing attacks that we have seen in recent times but of course just some days back boko haram attacks gaydam gaydam is the hometown of the inspector general of police that is the second time that gaydam will be attacked since the inspector general of police was uh, appointed so they attacked gaydam and slaughtered hotel guests so that is a boko haram that we continue to tell people has been uh, degraded has been rendered uh, almost powerless uh, people, uh, their members are surrendering droves but is still capable of attacking a big town and slaughtering people like rams slaughtering hotel guests like rams and even going to the point of burning down a government building so we still have a lot to do in the area of security we've got to tell ourselves the truth and the president shouldn't just stop at criticizing these people he has to give them marching orders and once he gives them marching orders and he sets targets realizable targets for them if they cannot meet his target then he should he should let them go mr president is the person who appoint people to positions and even when they fall short of expectations he keeps them there that has to change because as i've said to this president repeatedly his administration will be signposted his administration will be re re remembered largely for the insecurity that pervades our land he can build yeah. trains in the sky he can he can provide infrastructure three times better than previous leaders before him i'm not suggesting that uh, right. uh, that's what is done yeah. he, but i'm saying that he can provide infrastructure even three times better than the president before him if he does not defeat the insecurity that is ravaging our land that is taking the lives of our people that is yeah. getting our, our, our children to not uh, feel comfortable to go to school that it is that it is by that insecurity that his administration will be remembered that there's just mm. no two ways about that. i'm a historian i i know yeah. that we've had leaders who did well for their people not just in nigeria but certain little things for certain little indiscretions yeah. all right Bikyo. those leaders have been pushed into the dustbin of history yeah you're, you're correct